Well, the short answer is inventories um, have been, you know, leaning bearish the, the last several weeks. Now, keep in mind, we had, you know, seven, eight months of exceptionally bullish inventory data. Um, you know, and then in the past uh, four or five weeks, they've been, uh, they've been uh, hitting a soft patch. That's transitory in our view. Uh, the global oil market is still fundamentally undersupplied um, on a full year basis. You know, it's probably down a million barrels a day, uh, which is, you know, similar to what inventories were down last year. Uh, we think inventories will continue to fall into 2019 and even 2020, four straight years, which, you know, is, is really unheard of. So it's a very bullish picture for the oil market, but um, it, it has hit a soft patch. In short term, a soft patch. Now, let's get to some of these. And you say if you want to understand this election's effect on uh, the energy complex, you have to look down into the weeds of into ballot initiatives in various states. Let's start with one in Colorado that people are pointing to as basically a referendum on fracking. It would restrict where fracking could take place. And I guess the extension is that if it carries in Colorado, and it's close, it might, be, it might ultimately extend to other states. Yeah, it's, look, there are plenty of states that have pretty strict uh, drilling regulations passed at the legislative uh, level, but this is really the first one that could pass, you know, by a popular vote. And if it works in Colorado, it would set a precedent for other uh, states to at least attempt it. I mean, not it's not going to happen in Texas or North Dakota, but you know, in the more purple states, you you could see that conceivably Pennsylvania or or, or something like that. Um, you know, Colorado is is a mid-sized oil producing state, about 500,000 barrels a day of production, five percent of U.S. oil supply, quite a bit of natural gas too. Um, this would not directly prevent that production mm -hmm. from continuing. But what it would do is essentially, you know, eliminate just about future drilling activity. So it certainly would not grow into the future. So which companies, Pavel, could be most impacted? Which are the ones that don't have drilling activity already in Colorado within the proximity of these various sites who are interested in having drilling activity there? Right. So um, in Colorado, one of the big geological areas is called the Niobrara, and operators in the Niobrara uh, include, you know, for example, SRC Energy, ticker uh, SRCI. Another operator in, in the state is Noble Energy, NBL. This is more on the, on the large cap side. You know, there, there are a few others. Uh, it, it's not nearly as big a deal for the domestic industry as, for example, the Permian Basin of West Texas or the Bakken of North Dakota. But like I said, if it, if, if it passes, it would, uh, you know, just about make, make it, uh, you know, very difficult, if not impossible, to drill in the state in the future.